What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. It's Bella and today we're gonna be doing another get ready with me But instead I'm gonna be using all drugstore makeup and I have a bunch of products here in front of me These products are all for my recent Ulta haul. So if you guys haven't watched that make sure you go watch that now I'll have it right up here for you guys to go watch you guys can just click and it'll take you there But yeah out of like all of the products I have here I've only used a few of them. So it's gonna be mostly first impressions So we're gonna start with brows and for brows I picked up this morphe little Little brow cream and the reason I picked this up was because it was only six dollars so I was like oh that's a good price and I have mine in the shade Java I don't know that Morphe is considered drugstore but this is an affordable product so I'm gonna include it so I'm starting it a little bit on my brush and we're gonna start doing the brows like normal hopefully this goes well okay so first impression it's going on pretty smooth the color looks nice. I'd say this one's a good shade though for my brow. And this one, like I said, is in the shade Java. So I went ahead and filled in both eyebrows already. This product went on really smooth, blended out really nicely, and I had a nice color payoff. So the next step would be to conceal the brows. And I have two drugstore concealers here. I have the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind in the shade Ivory. And then I have the e.l.f. 16 Hour Camouflage Concealer. Like I said, ordered this online. Did not expect it to be this light. So I feel like this may be a little bit too light to conceal the brows so i'm gonna go ahead and use the age rewind i've used this concealer before and i know that i like it so this one was a repurchase for me am i dumb is mine broken so it used to click before if you guys had this product a long time ago it used to like click but it's not happening okay so product is coming out so i'm gonna put some of that onto my lid and go ahead and conceal my brows really quick in comparison to my Too Faced concealer it was a little bit harder to conceal with this one because it was a little bit less full coverage than the Too Faced one is but nonetheless i got the job done and my brows almost look snatched i'm actually gonna conceal the top with the foundation because this is like I said, really light. And so for foundation, I picked up the Maybelline Super Stay Foundation. This one's the shade 128. Again, I shade matched online, so I'm hoping this matches me. It may be a little bit, ooh, dark. I mean, it's like the right undertone, but it's a little bit dark right now because I'm a pale girl. We're gonna have to make it work because it's the only one I bought. I think I'm starting to get eczema above my eyebrow because my skin is getting really dry. dry dry and flaky and it's not the move sis i've had eczema before like right here in my armpit and mm -mm, burned to shave all righty so we're just gonna conceal around the eyebrows now and the brows are completely concealed or whatever now it's time to move on to primer this is the elf poreless putty primer and i've heard a lot of good stuff about this primer so i'm really excited to try it out i haven't heard of any other really good drugstore primers to be honest i used to use the baby skin a lot when i was you know just starting out with makeup and now that i think about it it's like putting cooking oil on my face so we're gonna see how this works i've heard that it does a good job at smoothing out pores and really just creating a smooth base for your makeup i cannot make this up my pores are gone this doesn't feel like greasy or sticky at all so i'm just really focusing out of my t-zone it's probably not the cleanest thing to dip my fingers in here but all right, so I have this primer all on and honestly, my skin does look really smooth. My pores do look significantly smaller. I'm gonna go ahead and move on to foundation. And like I said, I have the Maybelline Super Safe Foundation. I'm just gonna pump some of this on the back of my hand. So this foundation is supposed to be full coverage up to 24 hour wear. Seamless matte finish, breathable and comfortable, fade and transfer resistant, doesn't clog pores, and that's the last detail that's in English. So I put one pump on my hand, this is one full pump. I use a lot of foundation, so maybe I'm a two pump girl. This looks about right. So I'm gonna dot this onto my skin. So of course I'm gonna use this Real Technique sponge and I'm gonna start blending it. Not gonna lie, she kind of looks good. Also the shade is kind of giving it to me. So, so far it's going on pretty smooth. It's not like sticking to any dry spots on my skin. It's covering up my acne phenomenally. All right guys, so the foundation is completely blended out and I have to say it looks pretty good. It is matte, but it's not like super dehydrating matte you can see my skin still has some shine to it and with one layer it covered up my acne scars pretty well if you look like super close you can still kind of see some dark spots but like overall my skin looks pretty nice and doesn't really look any different than how a high-end foundation looks so I'm really eager to use this ColourPop concealer because I've never used it before it is a little bit light so I'm gonna 
it's literally white. I'm gonna just put like a little bit of this right here. This is the shade Fair Warm. So I'm just gonna blend this out. It doesn't look horrible. So right now I have really bright under eyes for no reason. I'm gonna bring some of this concealer up onto my lid and hope that it kind of diffuses out the concentration a little bit. Ooh, she dries quick. Okay, so I kind of had a feeling that that was gonna happen. This concealer was gonna dry down really quickly. Anyone who's used this concealer is probably watching me and laughing at me right now being like, so on camera, this looks really bright and really full coverage, but in person, I can still kind of see through the concealer underneath my eyes. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer again in the shade Ivory. And I'm gonna go more underneath the eye than anywhere else. And that boosted the coverage instantly. For setting powder today, I'm gonna go ahead and use the Fit Me Loose setting powder. This one's in the shade 10. I've had this powder before, but the shade was way too light for me. So this shade seems a little bit more appropriate. I'm hoping that it works. Why do they like super glue this thing here? All right, I'm gonna go back in and smooth out the under eyes and also put some powder into this little lid. From what I can remember, the powders are very pigmented and have a lot of coverage to them. So the color that the powder is on your face is most likely the color that it will stay. I'm just gonna go ahead and press that in. Well, off the bat, I'm pretty impressed the drugstore has upped their game. It looks pretty smooth and pretty seamless, more so than when I use like my high-end foundations and stuff. I'm gonna bring that powder onto the lid as well. So I'm just putting the powder on like I normally do. I'm trying to follow my normal makeup routine. That way I can see the product's true performance and how I, I would normally use them. So my face looks really, really smooth. I don't know if you guys can tell on camera. I'm gonna bake underneath my eyes and I never bake underneath my eyes, but I'm gonna be doing eyeshadow right now. So I don't want there to be any fallout. All right, team. For eyeshadow palettes, I have these little elf quads and these are so cute. These are the bite size eyeshadow palettes. And these were like $3 each. I kind of want to do something glam, something that I would normally wear. I've never used these shadows before, so we're in for a surprise. I'm going to be straight up. This look is booty hole because of those elf shadows. And I almost want to redo the eyes. Is that too much? No, I'm going to redo them. I'm getting so frustrated because like no matter what I do, this just like comes off it's pissing me off to the max i don't understand i don't understand don't understand bitch don't understand i don't understand i'm gonna see if i have a palette that i can use okay so here i am priming my lids for the third time. I'm getting like honestly very impatient and frustrated and like I don't even think this video is enjoyable anymore because I'm so angry. <laughs> I want to cry. Okay, here we go again. Third time's a charm. I'm gonna use another ColourPop palette because ColourPop's really the only like affordable palette brand that I have. This is the Whatever palette. I have my under eye shadow still on, so don't be alarmed by that. I'm gonna use the shade Copycat as a transition. And please don't mind me if I just have zero enthusiasm because at this point, I'm irritated as hell. So I'm just gonna go ahead and blend this out. I'm gonna do this like super speed fast. This is really what it's like sometimes when I'm getting ready, you guys. I have to take off my makeup and redo it sometimes because it just doesn't work out. Like my my anger's in my chest. Like I'm actually mad, you guys. My eyes are watering. I'm gonna go in with a different brush now. I'm gonna go on to this shade called Pass It On and I'm gonna put that also in my crease, but more on the outer crease. I don't know if you guys, when you watch my videos, can hear the cars in the background, but like I literally can't do anything about it because the street is literally a sidewalk away from my house and it's basically a main street because people pass through it all the time, all hours of every single day even at night i'm gonna go back in with that first shade cozy cat and blend out the edges and next i'm gonna dip into the shade called in bold which is a really dark brown and i'm gonna put 
put that on the outer corner and also in the crease a little bit but i'm gonna focus it more on the outer corner so i'm just going ahead and connecting that also to the lower lash line brown that i have because i didn't take that off from the last look so i'm just trying to connect the two so i'm gonna go ahead and add more of that dark brown like more into my crease area and i'm gonna set with a little blending brush this is the ColourPop e16 blending brush and i'm just bringing that up here and blending it out that way it can be more of a smoky eye now that i've had um like about an hour of struggle time i'm gonna go ahead and use this glitter called duh and it's a pressed glitter it's a little gold glitter Ooh, super cute and i'm gonna put that all on my lid and with pan glitters you don't really have to do any type of prepping for them you don't have to use any glitter glue or anything you just have to apply them like a shadow which i love i'm gonna blend out the edges with the q-tip because i can't get into my inner corner with my finger blend this out and make the edges a lot less harsh you guys have stayed through all three fails thank you so much a lot of fallout actually came off so i'm glad i did the powder step because otherwise the glitter would have been all on my face right now so i can say that i'm finally done with the eyeshadow which took me forever we're gonna move on though and i'm gonna do mascara next i'm gonna use the l'oreal telescopic mascara this mascara is fantastic i've used it for years it's my favorite drugstore mascara and i use it in the carbon black shade this isn't a first impressions for me, but I didn't feel like buying a mascara from the drugstore because I wasn't going to use it afterward, but I had this one at home. Now that I've done mascara, I can finally do lashes. And for lashes, I picked out the Eyelure London Lux XL Foam Mink Lashes. These are foam mink because they're not real mink, if you guys don't know what foam means. Finding eyelashes online was kind of hard because you can't really see the dimension of them online where as in person you can see if they're like fluffy or not or curly or not. I'm pleasantly surprised with how these look. They're pretty long and they have nice dimension to them for drugstore lashes. I'm gonna see how they look on my eyes. I'm gonna use the Duo Clear Brush on Adhesive. So that's what the lash looks looks like on it's pretty big all right so here's what the lashes look like with both of them on they're really really light i don't really feel them on my eyeballs i'm thinking i maybe shouldn't have trimmed them as much as i did because they look a little bit short now but they don't look bad i'm gonna move on to the rest of my face makeup now finally and for bronzer i picked up this physician's formula bronzer and i picked up the deep shade Mm. The only reason I chose this bronzer was because it smells fantastic. I'm gonna get a good amount of that and just start to bronze. I'm really scared because I don't like any other bronzers other than like super orange bronzers. And this one's not really that orange, so let's see. All right, so this literally smells amazing. I could eat this. So of course my phone lost storage in the middle of me doing my bronzer because that's just, you know, the cherry on top for today. But so far, so good. This bronzer looks nice. The only thing that I do notice about it that I don't really like that much is that it has like a sheen to it. So when my face is in the light, you can like see all my pores highlighted, which is not the ideal sitch but it's really not that bad obviously i also went ahead and started baking that because i wanted to shape it out a little bit better i'm gonna go ahead and contour my nose really quickly and i'll be right back Woo! all right so i'm finally back and we're gonna do some blush and highlight and for blush and highlight they're also from ColourPop. These are the Super Shock Cheek products, I guess. This is their highlighter in the shade Wisp, and then this is the blush in the shade Prenup. So this is just like a champagne-y highlighter, and this is just like a really rosy blush. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these on. I'm pretty sure these blushes are like wet. Hmm, I'm not getting any type of color payoff. Let me use a smaller brush. Maybe that's the problem. I need to use a denser brush. So I'm gonna really swirl around in here because apparently... Okay, so these are a very natural looking product. Clearly, they don't show up that well on the face. I thought this would be better because I have other blushes from ColourPop that work really well, but this one is low-key garbage. Low-key. It's just... It's 
not garbage, just really subtle and more subtle than what I enjoy. So I'm gonna go ahead and wipe away this bake really quickly and I kind of want to diffuse that blush out a little bit as well. Honestly though, my face right now doesn't really look that different from how it looks when I wear like a full face of high-end makeup. So I'm not complaining. I'm gonna go in with this super shock highlighter and I'm just hoping that this doesn't do me stupid dirty. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of this because Ooh, kind of left like a lightning streak on my face. Okay, so this is definitely pretty blinding, I would say. I went a little bit overboard on the side, as you can tell. It looks really white. I'm gonna go ahead and put some on my inner corner, my nose, my brow bone, you know, where I normally put my blush. My highlight, wow! So I'm gonna go ahead and do a little bit of setting spray. So for setting spray, I'm gonna use the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Acid Setting Mist. saturated in that i'm gonna go ahead and throw on a lip and i'll be right back all right so i quickly just applied the nyx lip liner in the shade nude truffle it's just like a brown lip liner i'm also going to use this nyx lipstick in the shade dainty days and this is a lip suede lipstick Let's see i've never used this shade before All right guys, that's the lipstick on. I'm pretty shook at how pretty this lipstick is. I can never find a drugstore nude lipstick that actually looks nude. They all look really pink or really mauve or brown or whatever, but this one's really nice. So I'm just going back over the edges and kind of blending out the lip liner with the lipstick a little bit. All right, and I'm just gonna leave the lip at that. All that there is left to do is put mascara on my bottom lashes. How fitting is it that I just got mascara on my nose? Alright guys, well that's the finished look. I actually really like how my makeup turned out in the end. So far my face looks really smooth and not super cakey at all. Just kind of looks a little bit dry in this area right here. Although I am getting a little bit of eczema there so that may just be me and may not be the makeup. Let's talk about the products really quickly. So the first product that I used was this Morphe eyebrow cream and honestly this was really good, really pigmented, smooth, easy to blend and i'm gonna give this a 10 out of 10. next is the elf poreless putty primer this primer did some nice stuff to my skin as soon as i put it on it was kind of like an instant eraser for my pores and it just looks really good the foundation looks really nice on top of the primer and overall so far so good i'm gonna give her a little 10 out of 10. so next on that list of ratings is gonna be the foundation and i kind of want to give her a 10 out of 10 and i don't know how the rating is gonna be after i wear it get a little bit of an opinion on it but the application process was super good the color was honestly kind of a good match for me in the end after i put on like my whole entire face and it had a nice finish which most drugstore foundations that are matte don't so as for the concealers, the two worked together really, really well. This one wasn't as full coverage as I expected it to be, and I think the shade was a little bit off, so I'm gonna have to give her maybe a 7 out of 10, just because it did look really nice, but the coverage wasn't really as there as I needed it to be. And then that's where this concealer came in and kind of saved the day. This one's always, always, always a good concealer. So I'm gonna go ahead and give this one an 8 out of 10, just because it isn't full coverage, but it does get the job done. For this powder, I'm gonna have to give her a 10 out of 10. I haven't tested the flashback yet on this powder, but it leaves my skin looking super smooth and poreless and it adds a nice layer of coverage to the foundation, which also helps with the smoothness. So we're gonna see how she holds up my makeup and I'll let you guys know later, but for now it's a 10 out of 10 for me. So the next thing that I used were these little eyeshadow palettes and I'm gonna just say these are a miss all the way. These get a zero out of 10 from me. Quite disgusting, not very pigmented, very powdery. They blended very patchy, so don't waste your money on these. They were like $3 each, but definitely not worth money at all. Don't waste your coins, girl, miss as hell okay so the next thing that i used was the lashes and i'm gonna say these are definitely a hit these are super cute super big super light not irritating on my eyes at all and they actually go really well with this dramatic makeup look that i'm wearing next is this bronzer from physicians formula i'm gonna say she's a hit although i don't enjoy the sheen in it when it applies it's not really that noticeable from far away but like up close it's kind of noticeable it's a nice color for a drugstore bronzer it's not super gray like a bunch of other drugstore bronzers are it could be a little bit warmer but that's just my preference so i'm gonna say she's a hit because my makeup still looks bomb overall so 
Next are these products and I'm gonna say this is a hit and this is definitely a miss because oh girl I was struggling to get pigment from this blush but this highlight came off super well and had a lot of pigment to it so Last but not least is this lipstick and let me just say I think I found a gem with this lipstick because it's super 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 comfortable It's not drying at all. It's a pretty color and I really struggle to find lipsticks like this So period the fact that I found one and it's from the drugstore I don't remember how much this is. I'll put the price right here once I look it up for you guys But I want to say that this was pretty affordable and Definitely will be repurchasing this if I need to so yeah, that was it for today's video I really hope you guys enjoyed enjoyed hopefully you guys found some new products that you want to try out let me know if you guys recreate this makeup look tag me on instagram if you guys don't know my instagram i have it in the description box along with my snapchat and my tiktok and also a black lives matter donation card so please check that out if you guys haven't checked it out already i need to go sign those damn petitions thank you so with that being said thank you guys so much for watching today's video i love you and i'll see you in my next one bye